Hey everybody, what's going on? Today I want to talk about uh, a myth about the domino and dispel that myth. And that myth is that in order to do mitered corners on three quarter inch material or 18 millimeter plywood, a corner just like this, you have to use a four millimeter cutter. And the reason for that is because every time you go to plunge, you plunge through, you flip it over, and you realize that there's a hole on the other side. Believe it or not, it's a extremely easy solution and it all boils down to how you set up the machine prior to plunging. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about. So it seems pretty straightforward, right? We know we want this to be all the way down. So we're gonna go ahead and lock that in place. We know that we need to be on a 45. So we're gonna go ahead and lock that down. And now we can go ahead and plunge. Again, I'm using a five millimeter cutter 15 millimeters depth for a five by 30 domino. So let's go ahead and cut it. All right, flip it over. And as you can see, I'm all the way through the material. So clearly this cannot work. Well, what was wrong? We just set it at 45 and did everything right, why is it not working? Well, let me bring you in closer to show you. So what did we do wrong? We set it at 45. I'm not tricking anybody. We set it at 45. This is all the way back, so it allows the fence to go all the way down. The problem is, is the order in which that process is done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and release this lever, and we're gonna go down like this. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to show you something. When you push this plate down to try to bottom it out, this plate gets caught on these right here, these indexable stops that are built into the machine. So this plate will not be allowed to go any further down when this is in this orientation. What I want to point out here is that this right here is not touching this. And it's not touching this, which means it's not all the way in the down position because of those indexable stops. So how do we get it all the way down? Let me go ahead and put it back in the 45. I'm gonna go ahead and lock this down. I loosen the lever for this to go up and down and I apply pressure. Now it is bottomed out. Now I can lock it down. So let's make a cut real quick so I can show you the difference. So this is the cut we just made. We'll go and flip it over. And as you can see, it is not through the material. This one's through the material. This one's not through the material. So this view will give you a better illustration of what it is that I'm referring to. So as you can see, this is the first cut we made. The plate was set higher up. So it's actually more towards the middle of the board. So that causes it to go all the way through. But once we made that correction, you can see that it actually raises that domino significantly higher, which is what stops it from penetrating all the way through. So here we'll go ahead and walk through the steps real quick, just so you can see everything in the specific order. So the first thing you wanna make sure, this plate, you wanna make sure that that is all the way back because you're trying to bottom this out, but we don't wanna bottom it out yet because we don't wanna hit those indexing stops. So at this point, I'm actually gonna go ahead and set my fence to 45. Now. When I go ahead and push this down, it's going to go all the way down, all the way metal on metal contact. I can lock that down and I'm using a five by 30 domino. So I'm just making sure that my plunge depth is 15 and we're good to go. One more time, real quick, 15 millimeters. This gets put all the way back because we're not using that as a reference. I wanna set my angle first and then I'm going to push it down, metal on metal contact, lock it down, and we're good. So I'm gonna make a couple of cuts, throw those two pieces together and show you how everything lines up. There you go. We have a perfect mitered corner 
and no visible exit from the dominoes, no visible exit from the dominoes. So if you've ever been using your domino and plunging through your material with a five millimeter bit on 18 millimeter or three quarter inch material, that is why. A very simple fix. Uh, I wanted to make this video because I used to do it too. And now I don't. And it's such a simple fix that a lot of people just don't know. You don't have to use a four millimeter domino to do mitered corners on three quarter material. Until next time, everybody get out in the shop, try something new. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.